Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Today we're on day 29 on Everbell. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's see what Isabel has to say. She's got some announcements. <gasps> Nook's Cranny is opening! Okay, it's bittersweet, but we're getting our new upgraded Nook's Cranny today, which is super awesome because even though... <laughs> Even though I'm going to miss the old rustic nooks cranny and the look of it, um, it's going to be really nice to have more options of things to purchase to decorate the island with, and yeah, it should hopefully introduce some seasonal items too, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day so far today. Um, yeah, so looking forward to just doing a little bit of um, building on the back side of the island today. Um, yesterday we had worked on terraforming the secret beach area and trying to decide who to move back there. Um, just for, yeah, for the sake of trying to decide how we can make um, Everbell look exactly how we envision it to. So look at all the villagers hanging out at the plaza today, guys. It's so precious. Hey, Raymond. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh-oh, that means that must mean that rain's coming today. That's not good, but if, I feel like it's been raining here a lot on the island. I'm just looking forward to having like a, a pure sunny day on Everbell, but it seems like we've had a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of rain lately. Um, yeah, it looks like Label's here today at the plaza. Um, I probably won't do anything with her today, but it is cute to see her little face hanging out there, so... Let's go ahead and part participate in our um, ceremony for Nook's Cranny. We haven't done a ceremony in a while, so I know the front end of the game seems to be just jam-packed with them. Um, but yeah, I feel like celebrating Nook's Cranny is kind of a big deal, so let's let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's kind of fun, too, to be able to do the ceremonies and just see all of your villagers together at any given point in time, so... Check it out! Look at all of our little villagers! They're all so cute! Aww! <laughs> Even Goose looks happy today! <laughs> Aww! Timmy and Tommy! Pretty cute! Pretty cute! <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but um, I like Tommy with his little one-word repeats. It's just, it's pretty hilarious and cute. <laughs> Aww! And of course, resident the resident services rep has to always say something. I'm going to say, we're amazing. Yay. <laughs> Take a couple pics to commemorate. I do like the, the upgraded Nook's Cranny building. It is really cute. I love the striped little awning. Um, the bright blue roof is really adorable. It's just a really colorful building in the game. So considering we're not upgrading the museum, it is kind of cool to be able to see this fully upgraded um yeah, so <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and fully embrace it since it's nothing that we could stop or help. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, it looks like it's dumped us back out at the plaza. So let's go back over here. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anyone that I haven't said hello to recently. Let's let's pop in and say hello to Grizzly. I'm trying to be really purposeful, guys, about saying hi and giving gifts to all the villagers except Goose. Um, I'm trying to trigger him to leave, although I suspect that since we just had someone leave recently, we had Mint asked to leave, and usually, from what I understand, the algorithm in the game is that if you have someone leave, there's a seven-day cool-off period where you won't have anyone asked to leave for seven days following. So I'm thinking that's going to take us out a few more days, so it might be another few days um, before we actually have a thought bubble pop up again, and I'm just using the time basically to focus on saying hello to everybody except Goose um, since he's the one that I'm hopeful will ask to leave next um, but he's one of the originals it's really really hard guys to get those OGs to ask to leave they're pretty darn loyal <laughs> which can be great if you happen to get um, an original that you really love and don't ever want to leave um, I had Bam once on my island the very first island I ever did Honey Bell I had Bam and he was just amazing and I kept him for a really long time um, and I did finally let him go just because I I was tired of him having the starter house. So I do plan eventually on having him back. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> they're hard to ask to leave. They, they just, they keep hanging on. <laughs> so um, now that we've said hi to a few people, I think we're probably going to wander back towards the back of the island um, to get going on our speed build for the day. <gasps> There's Whitney. Oh, we got to go say hi to her. 
I'm trying to decide too what to do with Whitney's house. Um, she's gonna have to be moved eventually as well. Um, I was thinking maybe like a cute little berry picking area would be cute for her because she's so cute. Um, so that's kind of the idea I had for that once we get to that part of the island, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking to see if I had anything useful that I could give to her, but I think most of the things I have in my pockets are things we're going to be using for the build today, so I guess we'll have to give her a gift later. There's Lily! Hey, Lily! Alright, let's keep going. I'm, I've been distracted enough. <laughs> Alright, so let's cut back through um, resident services. Just uh, let's, let's go up this way because we're going to be up on the second level. We'll cut back through behind Raymond's house. I did end up um, choosing to go ahead and move Eric's house. Um, it was a hard debate. I was actually um, trying to decide which house to move back here, and I really appreciate everyone's input um, on trying to decide who to move. Um, I had a couple of suggestions for Grizzly, which I think is a brilliant idea, and I definitely want to move him soon because I've got, I've, we've got some great ideas in the works for what to do with Grizzly's place, but um, it was really bothering me <laughs> that Eric the Moose was um, actually sitting back on the treehouse where the squirrel <laughs> lived, so I thought, okay, we'll move him this time and um, we're going to get things speeded up here. Um, but yeah, we'll move him now and put Eric back here in this little moose area that we're going to create, a little moose sanctuary, I guess, by our secret beach. And yeah, I think it'll work out great. <laughs> so I'm just starting out, I wanted to put a little blanket down with this custom code. Um, again, I'll be sure to list all of the custom codes that we're using in this speed build today in the description. So if you guys want to try them, you're welcome to. Um, I just wanted this cute little like lumberjack type pattern back here. I thought it would be really cute for a moose. Um... But yeah, starting out with just a little beach blanket back there on the secret beach, and we'll get we'll get back to that in a minute. I just kind of wanted to put down some plants and shrubs and trees just to kind of um, build up this area back here with all these waterfalls. They just, they look a little naked. <laughs> They're needing some tall things to sort of fill it in. So I'm just going to have to probably reshape some of these so that they're the right shape to be able to fit trees and shrubs and bushes and all that kind of good stuff. So... <laughs> Okay, so also, um, shout out to Mom's Animal Crossing. Um, I appreciate your your uh, info that you got me on why we could not seem to figure out why Red has not shown up to Everbell yet. And she's so brilliant. I did not even think about the fact that since we are choosing to not upgrade the museum for this island, um, didn't even think about the fact that you, you have to open up the bigger museum um, in order to trigger Red to come because it sort of is going back to the cutscene where you talk to Blathers and he will mention something about getting some art pieces to open up an art exhibit and apparently that conversation has to happen first and then it will trigger Red walking around your island for the first time um, and his ship coming to the back north shore of the island. So shout out to Mom's Animal Crossing. Thank you so much for doing that research for me and finding that out. Uh, mystery solved and it's a relief. Um, I am a little sad because I do really enjoy Red coming to the island. Um, with my other islands in the past that I've done, I've always upgraded the museum. So I guess it's something that I never really thought about before, about him having to have the bigger museum in order to come. So I'm a little sad, but in the end, I think it'll work out. I really still um, want to keep the rustic tent. I think it's going to be cute for Everbell. So <laughs> sadly, sadly, I'm going to miss seeing Red's face. <laughs> his scamming, his scamming face. <laughs> So anyways, um, so over here, I'm just sort of moving trees around, things like that. Um, I shaped some of these waterfalls yesterday, um, but I'm trying to just basically fill in some trees and bushes, shrubs, things like that. A few flowers here and there just to beautify it a little bit. Um, I think the focus is going to be mostly on the left side over by those waterfalls because I do want to get this looking cute for Eric. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I'm putting down some wild log benches just to um, make it look sort of filled in, but also create some spaces where people can sit and hang out. Um, got some log stakes back here. And I just sort of wanted to create like a little like lumberjack style, like rustic picnic area back here. I kind of love that uh, Raymond is hanging out. Like he's kind of far away from his house, but I just think it's so cute when you start doing terraforming. 
where all the villagers, um, even from the front of the island, just sort of find you, and it's just kind of cute. <laughs> I've got this cute little bamboo noodle slide. I'm just, I, I'm thinking I wanted to fill out some stuff in the rocks back there just to kind of give it an extra little, um, I don't know, like a little extra decor, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just putting down some items, barrel, a little anthrim plant. Um, and thinking back here, we want to do like a little seating area too and a little picnic spot. Um, I'm choosing to go ahead and use some of this log furniture and I wanted to customize it um, for anybody that has been following the videos on, on Everbell. We've been collecting all of the sable patterns and I think I'm about halfway done with them. You can get a set each day and unfortunately we have not gotten the um, black and red gingham pattern yet from her which I had sort of planned on using back here but luckily I was able to find this really adorable lumberjack pattern through the custom design portal so we're just gonna go ahead and go with that um, it's kind of a bonus because as you know the custom design patterns you can use on the ground like on the beaches to use for blankets and things like that um, for paving whereas the sable patterns you can't so I guess it, it sort of worked out okay in the end <laughs> I'm just putting down this little picnic basket and a little little place to sit so like I said we're just sort of filling things in as we go with some flowers um, I've got these cute orange pansies um, that I had been hoarding on one of my other islands, but I didn't realize that they're like in, <laughs> they're in, what do you call it, like bud form. So, so I guess it's kind of convenient that it's raining today because hopefully that means those will be nice and bloom tomorrow. Lily, what's Lily up to? Oh, she wants to change her catchphrase. <laughs> I ended up going with Sweetums, um, really struggling to come up with something on the fly. I don't know. What do you guys do when your villagers ask to change um, their little sayings? Do you, I mean, do you have like a list prepared where you kind of have an idea in your head of what you want them to say so that when they ask, you're ready? Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch me run away from these wasps, guys. And of course, Eric wasn't home, so I had no building to run to and no net in my pocket. Oh dear, <laughs> we'll have to make some medicine and fix our eyeball here. <laughs> Bear with me. But yeah, anyway, so curious to know, do you guys have ideas um, stashed away, like on a list someplace, so that when your villagers ask to change their catchphrase, you kind of have an idea? Do you go with something um, specialized to whatever the villager is, or do you just do a generalized one that you give everybody so that everyone's calling you the same thing or using the same catchphrase? I don't know, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments what you guys prefer to do. Um, I I feel like sometimes I'm more prepared than other times. Certain villagers, I have little ideas like Raymond. I know like I've got a whole slew of ideas of catchphrases for him when he eventually asks. But I was really ill prepared for Lily to ask today. Um, I feel like I probably could have come up with something like a few different things. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I think it's going to work out just fine. So anyways, just planting in more flowers. Um, I've got this cute little bonsai shelf um, that we're putting down here and a picnic table with that same little lumberjack pattern. I'm just trying to create a little picnic area, I guess, with this log table and a little cooler with the little plaid pattern. Just filling in with like garden rocks, flowers, anything I can to sort of just make it look less bare bones back here. <laughs> Um, one of the things I saw that was really cute, um, this was a Pinterest inspo. I saw someone use a sandwich design on a cutting board and it looked so cute, guys. So cute. So I went into the custom design portal. I wanted to find a couple of different sandwich patterns just to see which one is going to look the best. Um, and I'll, lift, I'll link those in the description for you. So if you decide you want to use use it you can um, but yeah if you customize this cutting board with the little sandwich pattern on the napkin it sort of gives the illusion that you're cutting a sandwich in half and I just I saw it I thought it was so cute so I decided I wanted to do something similar so we're going to set that out with our little picnic area for Eric sort of reminds me of like okay do you guys remember the if you give a mouse a cookie book I know that's sort of like going way back, but it sort of reminds me of like, uh, I think there's another one called if you give a moose a pink, oh, if you give a moose a muffin, I think that's what it was. And it was so cute. So yeah, in this case, I guess we're giving a moose a sandwich, which doesn't rhyme, but <laughs> just sort of reminded me of that. 
Um, okay, so now we're just putting in some more pathing. Um, I'm sticking to the same um, dirt path with these cute little clover designs on it that we've been using throughout Everbell. I really love this path. It's it's proven to be really versatile. Like I feel like I've been able to very easily use it seamlessly throughout the island. Um, yeah, so highly recommend. I'll put that information in the description for anyone that hasn't been following the videos prior to this so that if you want to use it too, um, yeah, feel free to. I've, I'm really thrilled with it. It's got a lot of pieces, so it does take up more squares in the custom design slots, but I think it's worth it because it does give you the ability to really put the pathing in the way that you like. You can really make paths sort of meander and curve and they don't look so block-like like some of the in-game paths that you can use. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with it. So highly recommend. <laughs> so we're just sort of filling that in. Um, I'm trying to decide what to put here in this corner. I had really wanted to put a tree back here, but I'm struggling to be able to find the space since the full-grown trees have to have so many squares. Um, all the way around it <laughs> so I believe it's a nine square pattern that you have to have to fit a tree um, yeah so I decided I think we're just gonna have to maybe make that into like an, an additional sitting area um, I've got a long extra long log sofa in my pocket so I have a feeling we'll probably just have to do something like that make it a cute little sitting area looking out towards the ocean off the secret beach um, I also have this cute little puddle pattern that I've used before on Lily Swamp Build and a little duck decoy just to make it look like a little duck hanging out on a rainy day in a puddle. Um, yeah, I really love some of these. I've seen I've seen people do similar things with nests and the little decoy ducks on some of the cottage core islands that are out there and oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I love it. So I just wanted to do sort of a similar version like that, um, but wanted to use puddles instead of a nest. <laughs> So I'm also just sort of filling in um, right here. I wanted to do this cute rake pattern idea. Um, I saw this, I think this was a Reddit design that I saw and I'll put this information in the description, but if you put this little rake pattern on the ground and then place your vaulting pole, it actually looks like a rake that's standing up against the tree. Like someone had done a little bit of yard work and then left it there. And I just really thought it was a cute idea. Um, I apologize, I don't remember the original post of who had put that out there in the world. I do try to credit people when possible, um, but I will definitely give credit um, in the description for the person that created the custom design that we used for the build today. Um, just a really cute idea. I, I totally love it. All right, so just shaping this um, clip over here. We're going to turn this into a little sitting area with our couch. Just sort of trying to push it over there so it fits a little bit better in the corner. And we're gonna put maybe like some little, how about a book stack? I think a book stack would be cute over there. I wanted to customize it to make it like the tan color so it's a little more neutral. Just to kind of give the illusion that you're having a picnic, you can sit on the sofa with the sun, <laughs> the sun in the background, I'm watching the waves and just reading a book. <laughs> Sounds pretty fun. I'd like to spend my real life doing that. <laughs> I'm swapping out some of this pathing. Um, I think I just decided that the little sparse patches looked a little bit too repetitive. Um, they weren't blending very well, so I kind of decided to switch this out after the fact, um, just to make it look like it's flowing a little bit better, um, especially since this is right by the treehouse area. I know probably eventually if we're able to find a very cute squirrel, um, I had some wonderful suggestions too from subscribers about which squirrels to that they recommend, um, I think. Callie was one of them and um, Peanut and um, yeah so a lot of really excellent suggestions. I'm really hopeful to eventually get a squirrel on Everbell again because that was sort of the plan all along um, but in the meantime I think what I'm gonna have to do is where the house where Eric's house was sitting. Um, we'll probably just have to fill that in with some trees for the time being so it'll still be a tree house but we're just not gonna have a villager's house incorporated in that just for the time for the moment um, until we're able to find somebody that fits um, but for now We'll still leave it a tree house. It's just going to be an empty tree house, <laughs> sadly. Okay, we're going to slow things down here. And yeah, um, just wanted to take a quick look around at our hard work today. And I had one last idea I wanted to share. Um, <laughs> so I was thinking about when, you go, when you're going up north, especially um, like in the rustic areas. Have you guys ever seen those moose crossing signs? I was really excited because in the custom design portal, I was able to find um, someone had put out there a moose crossing sign and I thought, how cute would it be if we made a plain wooden shop sign 
and then customized it with the moose crossing sign for Eric's area. I think it would be really cute. So um, went ahead and downloaded that. Super cute. And I'll put the info in the description for you guys if it's something you're interested in using if you have Eric on your island. Yay! <laughs> So I'm thinking um, maybe we can put it up here by the stairs. There's a little spot here by this little bush. I think it'll be cute. Let's see how it looks. Oh my gosh, yay, it's perfect. I'm so excited. It's exactly what I had in mind. <sighs> I love it. I'm really happy with how, how this turned out. Um, I really super appreciate everyone's great ideas that they sent in um, on what to do with this area. I think it's going to be great and I'm really looking forward to working on Grizzly's house. We'll probably do that in the next week or so. Um, but yeah, check it out guys. Really pleased with how this turned out. We've got a little picnic area for Eric, his cute little log cabin back here near the secret beach area and a little picnic where you can just hang out and sit, enjoy the waves and read a little book. So <laughs> anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Wishing you an amazing day. Take care guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.